This is Sunday Live at the Arena Hua Hin with Lee Higgins. And I've got two likely gentlemen sitting next to me. Marty Collins, good morning. Morning. How are you? I'm good, thanks. That's good. And we've also got Alan Murphy. How are you, Alan? I'm um, good, thanks, Lee. That's good. And you're here to talk to me about Hua Hin Rugby. I did not realise, Alan, that there was a club here in Hua Hin. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, it started from a um, meeting with a, a couple of, as you said before, li- likely lads. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the end of 2019, by the name of uh, Ropati or Robert Karoy, who's okay. Fijian, and John William, who's English, both ex-military guys. And uh, they were talking about getting uh, Robert's son into rugby and, and the lack of rugby here in Wahin. Mm. So they decided to uh, start with a touch rugby on the beach. Right. Uh, and a quick uh, Facebook post and uh, played on the Saturday afternoon and about 10 people turned up. Mm, All Mm. nations? All nations, French, Australian, New Zealand. All rugby nations? All rugby nations, (laughs) yeah. (laughs) South Africa. Yeah, yeah. because you've got a New Zealand accent in there, haven't you? I have. Where are you from? I come from the mainland in New Zealand, Mm -hmm. Christchurch, uh, the deep south. Deep south. Very Beautiful wine country. Beautiful wine country Mm. and very, very cold at the moment. Yeah, stop making me jealous. I love (laughs) the South Island of New Zealand. And how long have you been here in Hua Hin? The end of 2000, I arrived in in Mm Wahin after coming from Oman. Oh, okay. And so this um, community of rugby players now, so how many people have you got in in this community? It varies, uh, very transient, probably uh, a group of 20 to 30 uh, so standard, okay. uh, but 250 in the Facebook group and 15 to 20 turning up on a Saturday afternoon. And is rugby being played anywhere else here in Thailand or is it just here in Hoa Oh No, no, it's right from the top to the bottom. Okay. Uh, so yeah, Chiang Mai, Bangkok, Phuket. They all have rugby clubs. Right, yeah. okay. So, Marty, tell us a little bit more about the Hua Hin community here that you've got around rugby. Do you only play on the beach or do you play in other places? Uh, well, we originally started playing on the beach and uh, some of us old fellas found it quite hard <laughs> when it was high tide. Yeah, funny about that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we've, we've sourced a couple of uh, green grass fields, one of which is True Arena yes. and the other one is Samong Prong okay. on the Canal Road on Soy 8. Mm. Um, yeah. And so have you got men and women playing or is it only men? What, what's the makeup of your group? Uh, over the years we've had quite a few women play but at the moment we're, we're struggling to get women coming along mm. um, but that will happen again. Yeah, we encourage any, any, anybody to come, all ages, all nationalities. And your accent as well as you've got a little bit of a Kiwi accent yeah, in there. Uh, Where are you from? I'm a, I'm a Kiwi as well from mm. the mainland. Mm. A little bit further north than Allen. Whereabouts? Uh, Blenheim. Blenheim, yes. Really good wine country. Totally. Yeah. Like the, oh, sorry, we can't be talking about wine on this show. It's <laughs> meant to be talking about rugby, right? But, and so is rugby in your DNA? Yeah, I basically started since I was five, and I finished when I actually came over here when I was about 27. Okay. All those years ago, I was I came over here for six weeks, and uh, <laughs> I'm still here after 28 years. I think that's the story of a lot of people, right? Very common story. And are you still playing? Yeah, I'm still playing. I struggle around the field sometimes. Yeah, well, you know. Occasionally do a bit of refereeing. Yeah, well, <laughs> wear both hats, eh? <laughs> yeah. So how do people get in contact with you if they want to join in? I guess the easiest way would be in Facebook, type in who are in rugby, okay. and it will pop up for sure. Yeah. And then once that happens, the initial contact, we put them on the line group and advise what, what, what when the game is, and also goes out on the Facebook page as well. And have you got plans for the future for your little club? Yeah, I suppose one of our aspirations would be to actually host a tournament. Oh. Um, this weekend, actually, is uh, Bangkok 10, so we'd like to have a sort of a, a touch touch tournament one day much like the Hua Hin Sixers do and that's been going for years. Because you've just touched on it to make a pun of it so it's touch rugby or is it full-blown rugby? Uh, it's touch rugby. Okay yeah and is that because? Um, 
well, the average age of our club might be a little bit, <laughs> a little bit old for uh, full contact. Don't want any busted knees yeah. or shoulders or no. uh, hip replacements happening. That's right. Yeah. yeah, no, well, and I suppose touch rugby is quite mobile as well, isn't it? It's a fast game. Mm. Um, we've occasionally had uh, a Bangkok team come up and play against us. Okay. And they actually play two or three times a week, so... We struggle against them, but we learn from them as well, yeah. and it's and it's good fun. Okay. The whole idea of the club is social and just get a bit of fitness in. Okay, fantastic. Well, we'll put a post up on our Facebook page so that people can, if they want to track you down and join your club and your community, uh, they can do so. Okay, that'd be great. Sounds good. And thank you um, also, Alan, for coming in and chatting with us this morning um, about the history and uh, what this club means to you. So are you still playing? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Are you? What, Absolutely. What position did What position did you used to play? I used to play. Uh, well, in the in the uh, in the northern hemisphere, it's called fly half. Mm-hmm. In New Zealand, it's called first five eight. Okay, so yeah, you look like you've got the build for that <laughs> for that position. I think definitely not a forward. No, no, no. <laughs> you don't have the chops for that one, but that's okay. Well, thank you very much, both of you, for coming in and chatting with me today about who are Rugby. It sounds like you've all got it going forward, and should be. Good thing here for people to get involved in. Thanks, Thank Lee. you.